Okay, so now on the main, I'm working and I'm doing a cute little neon pink to back to neon pink rainbow effect. Um, so so cute. As you guys, as you guys see right now, the lights are kind of too bright for you to really see the color of it. But just stick with me for a second. Stick with me, cause I get it together, you guys. Also, I know my hands is beautiful ashy, but I had just got out the tub or whatever, so don't judge me. I use the neon fabric paints, but I also mix them with the neon puffy paints. If you guys didn't don't know, don't know, don't know. They they're really um. I prefer the more basic color, the primary color ones, because they're um, thicker, they're more opaque than the neon color. It's just a little bit too dark, but I'm gonna fix it. And boom, that lighting is A1 now. It's good. You can see the color. Oh, so yeah, I'm just painting and painting and painting. And I paint so fast. Like, look how fast I paint. Just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. no, sped up like 500 times. We're moving right along, painting on down the main. Y'all, I have to do so many coats on that main just to make it where it looked halfway presentable and halfway like a halfway opaque where you can actually see it. at how thin these paints were.
some black. We got a little bit of black pepper paint, a little bit of black pepper paint, and stir, stir, stir. And we're getting a face on her. We're getting a face on her. Of the color 
and it still blended pretty crappy right in the blue purple area and then I said you know what we need some dimension so I took the opaque paint the thick white that I always use to completely cover the squishy just to have a blank base and I mixed it with each individual color and I added some highlights which in hindsight should have been contours and they probably should have been mixed with darker is a darker shade like so it probably should have been slightly mixed with the blacks to make a darker shade but I didn't do that I did highlights I don't know if y'all can see them but like you can see like the highlight and it just adds so much more texture and contrast and interest and then I put glitter over the hair as well and now I actually kind of like this little sucker she kind of cute or whatever and she squished good. She squished good. No squish good. She squished good. So, I'm happy with her. And she's cute. And she's a rainbow. Like, okay, technically, I know the rainbow goes that way. But since I started it with pink, I wanted to end it with, uh, since I ended it with pink, I wanted to start it with pink as well. And I wanted the pink and purple to be at the top of her head just because I felt like it would look cuter on her. And that is my squishy painting for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm KJ. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And I'm out.